I'm not sure at this point if it's funny or just straight up annoying. I'm not sure which one it would fall under. But regardless, we've been saying this stuff about Diddy for how many years now? And only now do people want to believe this stuff because the mainstream media talked about it. So now it's fact. But all these years that we've been on YouTube uploading videos, showing pictures, showing interviews of people talking about it, and going into details and actually having receipts, all of that, we were just conspiracy theorists, right? But now, because CNN, uh, TMZ, all these like mainstream news outlets want to talk about it, now it's fact. Funny how we can go after R. Kelly, but Jay-Z's off limits. We can go after Diddy, but Jay-Z's off limits. Why, why is Jay-Z off limits? Jay-Z has been doing the same thing Diddy has. The only difference between Jay-Z and Diddy is that Jay-Z is like, I guess, in a sense, smarter about it. Like he's more low key. Where Diddy just gets high on mollies or lean or whatever he's on. E, acid, who knows? That's the difference between Diddy and Jay-Z, is that Diddy gets shit-faced and he's sloppy. Rats himself out for the, mo for the most part. Like, nobody even has to say a word. He just stumbles over himself and spills his own tea. Everybody wants to talk so much shit about R. Kelly being with Aaliyah when she was underage. So did Jay-Z. Jay-Z was hitting that when she was underage too. But for some reason, Jay-Z is off limits. Jay-Z does all this stuff with that, that Maria Baranovich, whatever her name is, with spirit cooking and all of this really creepy stuff. And we don't put two and two together. We just say, oh, he's part of the Illuminati. That's, that's the only thing we say when it comes to Jay-Z, right? But Jay-Z is at the parties with Diddy. Like, he likes young girls. Hence why he signed uh, Rihanna. Have you ever wondered why Rihanna won't do any music with uh, with Beyonce? Beyonce refuses to do any music with her. Even when Rihanna was at the top and it was at the peak of her career, Beyonce would refuse to do any work with her. A lot of these, like when you, when you get into the music industry, a lot of these rappers, especially these big up rappers that are the ones that are at the very top, you can't get in the same song with them or be in the same music video if you're the opposite sex and you haven't put out. And I know this is controversial, but let's be real. Like, let's let's not pretend that this doesn't exist, right? Like, there's so many famous artists out there that if another female musician wants to be in a song with them, they literally have to put out. Otherwise, they're not going to be in the same song with them. There's um, even um, female artists have come out um, exposing, um, um, what are those losers called? Oh, the Dog Pound. Exposing the Dog Pound and uh, Snoop and them saying that, oh, there's a lot of boats out there fishing. Maybe we'll go tomorrow. We'll see. Anyways, so when you see like Rihanna in a picture with the Dog Pound, and they're all over her and she's writing uh, Tupac on her stomach or Thug Life, whatever she did. When they're doing that and mocking Pac, what do you think is they're doing like at these parties and at these get-togethers or when they're together in the studios? It's not just the groupies that are getting banged. So Jay-Z, it's a known fact that Jay-Z, while he was rolling with R. Kelly and them, was doing stuff with underage really really young girls after he was uh he distanced himself with r kelly he's still doing the same thing you think when when um when beyonce jay-z and uh beyonce's sister uh so, so, whatever name is were in the elevator and beyonce's sister was wailing on jay-z and beating the shit out of him and he was just standing there taking it why do you think he, she was doing that? Just put two and two together. 
Jay-Z is known for doing this. And even after him and J uh, Beyonce split from the public eye and they admit that they've been divorced for a while, you'll, you'll see, like, Jay-Z will still be around very, very young girls. I bet you Jay-Z and his people are, like, throwing shit in paper shredders, burn, they got a massive burn pile somewhere, burning all the evidence, shaking in their boots right now. You notice Jay-Z was friends with Diddy, extremely good friends, and so is Snoop. But you don't hear them making a peep, right? They haven't made a, like make a made a peep about the whole thing. They don't even want to come out and talk about it. Why? Jay Z, like two months before this happened, was on some video praising Diddy, saying that he's a go-getter and he knows how to do business and he's a good role model for the black community, right? But now he's quiet as a motherfucker. Same with Snoop. We know Snoop's been cheating on his wife since like high school. <laughs> <laughs> right so and we like the selena powells we know all of that shit right we know how much blow he has to do to just keep his dick hard we know about all that right but we're not gonna we're not gonna question snoop we're not gonna question jay-z we're not gonna question the people around diddy right it, it was just diddy nobody else guys just him it's like when R. Kelly did it. It was just R. Kelly, guys. It wasn't Jay-Z, too. It wasn't all of these other artists doing it. Are we all gonna apologize to Wendy Williams? Wendy Williams lost her job at the, at the radio station in New York because she was exposing these limp-wristed rappers, and D Diddy especially. And then she got fired from her job because of it. But she was calling him out back then. We ignored people like that.